Hi everyone, C Chronicles here. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are a first timer on this channel, I do a lot of fragrance reviews, guys, but I do throw in some lifestyle content as well, fashion, vlogs, that kind of thing. So if those style of videos are something that ticks your boxes, please do consider joining this family by clicking the red subscribe button. I'd appreciate you becoming part of the family. And to those who are returning, thank you so much for the continued support. Now today I'm going to give you 10 boozy Middle Eastern cheapies okay these are fragrances that shouldn't set you back a lot of money but this is going to be a video that if you like the boozy kind of fragrances you like your fragrances with a touch of alcohol here is rum cognac that kind of thing these are the fragrances that i would say you may want to go and for the first one is going to be this one i have done a full review of georgians the lion heart um if i haven't posted it just do look out for it i don't know which video i'm gonna you know put out first but i've done a review of this one this one is an uh, attempt on Penhaligon's Roaring Red Cliff. This is going to give you honey. It's going to give you tobacco mostly. And it's going to give you rum as well. It's it's a nice kind of leafy tobacco soft uh, fragrance. But with a beastly lasting power. I wore this fragrance and I had it on me. Oh, you know, like close to the next wash, honestly. So yeah, guys, this is Georgian's The Lion Heart. And if you're into boozy fragrances with a touch of spice there, because it does have cinnamon and ginger, this is a definite recommendation. I am going to put the full review in the description for ease of reference. Now, the second one on this list I featured, I also did a full review. So if I'm bringing some fragrances that you haven't seen, uh, just check, check the description box. If you want something that is uh, boozy, drunken, cherry, this gives me more of like a fermented cherry cinnamon as well uh, red apple in there and some vanilla but what you're going to get the most is like a boozy drunken cherry it's quite prominent in here so this is going to tick the boxes for uh, you know those who are into fruity fragrances but definitely boozy leaning so attire collection halta night is my number two now the next fragrance here is none other than invite only i am going to put a close-up video because obviously this is a mini this is a two-in-one it's got deja vu white flower and it, it also has invite only ember 23 so the one that i intend talking about here is invite only i bought this one as a rollerball it has two in one it has deja vu white flower on one side and it has invite only um ember 23 okay and this is obviously by keali it's boozy with a sour cherry it's embery as well as nutty uh, but it has whiskey nuances there from like a hibiscus tobacco so yeah definitely something that i like it also has like an overdose feel of cinnamon i'm actually weighing whether i should buy this one full bottle or i should buy the vanilla cocoa because i did buy a mini of the vanilla cocoa and boy oh boy that one was beautiful um, um, but in terms of booziness, this is a very boozy Keali invite only Ember 23. Now, the fourth one is uh, none other than Lata Famorha. I've been, you know, on the lookout for the rose one, the pink one, the Lata Famorha rose. That one, I don't know, guys. I think it was just, you know, I think it people hoarded it or something because that one is so hard to find. Anyway, today we're here to talk about Morha. I'm going to spray it a little here. So that I remind myself, it has um, a boozy rum there. I get a lot of sticky, dry fruits in here as well. It's a dense, dark fragrance. So this is going to be something that you might want to add to your collection. You know, if you just want to smell different. I also get wafts of licorice here. And I don't think licorice is listed as a note. But giving you a mental shortcut that I smell licorice, a, like a drunken cherry licorice rummy kind of feel then you probably will have a mental shortcut of what this smells like so i decided to put this one on the list because it's definitely one that you should get your hands on if you after those boozy fragrances the next one on the list guys is from fa paris fa paris the fire i get what feels here like i get a realistic rubbery feel like the smell of smoky rubber or if you burnt tires but something in here is spicy and leathery and boozy at the same time this is another fragrance that i would say is dark at least you know to my nose i get a dark polarizing fragrance as well very long lasting um you know with that boozy accord there and i, I i'm not sure what makes it feel that way but there's something there that 
you know gives you wafts of some booziness so yeah the fire from fa paris if you haven't gotten your hands on this you can try it i know they have like three or four in this series and i will try and get my hands on the other ones and what i know is this particular line seems to be duping louis vuitton you know the ombre no more mads and all um this particular line but all i can you know i can speak for this one for now but yeah if you're looking for a boozy fragrance not so much as the other ones that i've spoken about there the, those are liqueur drunken fragrance right fragrance is right there but this one will give you wafts of booziness so if you are looking for an ultra ultra boozy scent then you may want to go with the first three that i you know did speak about here otherwise if you want a booziness that is is kind of covered by like a rubbery you know like a burnt rubber kind of feel like latexy kind of feel but thick and polarizing then the fire by fa paris is one for you the next fragrance here is none other than paris corner and uh, uh paris corner pandora and this one's called double black now this is a one-on-one dupe this is their attempt on um the liqueur fragrances from Killian. This is what back to black. Theirs is called Double Black. Now, this fragrance, guys, is fruity, it's a musty, it's sour, but it also has like a boozy cherry. Something here feels fermented, feels a bit strange, but also exciting to the senses if you're a person who's into fragrances. So, this is definitely my number six that I would recommend here. Uh, Paris Corner Pandora Double Black. Next up is Frenetic Delicios from Paris Corner as well, but this one is from they're a mere line where they kind of um you know they kind of replicate um these niche niche or private collections or something like that this is duping fair delicious by dio okay so this again gives me a leathery nutty caramelly feel there's wafts of something that feels a bit milky there cacao a tonka but also a cherry there that pushes it to the liqueur category. So I get a booziness from uh, Paris Corner Aimé. Uh, the uh, fragrance is called Frenetic Delicious. So if you haven't tried this, you may want to put your nose on this fragrance. And yes, it is uh, different from this one. You know, it kind of has, you know, the similar, like a drunken vibe to both, but um, it's very different. This one is more cacao-y, caramel -y kind of thing. And while this one is like outright a bit sour, a bit musty and all that. So yeah, definitely a recommendation there, which is my number seven. And that is Frenetic Delicious. Next up is uh, from Fragrance World. This is an attempt, of course, on um, Angel's share. You can see by the bottle. Um, it's not exactly a, an outright copy, but the bottle is like a telltale sign. This particular one is called Cocktail Intense. This fragrance has a cinnamon. Also feels a bit rubbery there. It's warm, it's spicy. But to top it off, in as much as it has that cinnamon, cinnamon apple pie feel, it is boozy. If you've used Angel's Share, the original, you will know that Angel's Share is categorized as a boozy scent, uh, which is why it is packaged in a bottle that looks like a, like a whiskey uh, bottle, as you can see. This is the dupe. This is obviously not the real thing. But the bottle itself shows you that this is a, like a liqueur fragrance. And Killian packages all his liqueur, you know, fragrance is in a bottle like this and these guys have gone ahead and kind of you know uh come up with something a bit similar there so if you're into liqueur boozy kind of fragrances then this is one to uh consider is from fragrance world and is called cocktail intense and next up just to get it out of the way because I know some of you guys might say, oh, why didn't you include it? These two vibe differently. In as much as I, they're duping the same thing, they kind of come across a little bit different. Okay, this one is from Paris Corner. Again, the Emir collection. And this one's called Fire Your Desire. It does give you the angel share spiciness. It does give you the woods there, the cinnamon there. And the booze, of course, which is why it's here. But it has a crisp quality to it. While I get like uh, something that feels like a thickened oil in here, like a thickened, this one, you know, feels oily to the nose. It smells and feels a little bit oily. Like you can tell that there's a heavy concentration of oil in this one. This one has a crisp kind of interpretation of it, but it also does have that boozy feel there and that apple pie cinnamon kind of feel there you know like you you had a cinnamon apple pie dessert in front of you so definitely one to consider there and in case you were wondering which is which i would say these two are duping the same thing but they kind of translate differently to the nose or at least to my nose so yeah definitely something to look out for the fire your desire a mere 
fire your desire from paris corner now the last one and certainly not the least i could not do this video and not include wazir wazir is from latafa and if you want a caramel if you want a fruity take you know if you want a fruity forward fragrance with a bit of some creaminess there caramel fudge that is what I get from Wazir. But to top it off, I get a boozy sweetness in here. In the dry down, it then starts to introduce a little bit of some greenness there. But if you enjoy the boozy nature or a boozy kind of uh, based fragrance, this is not going to disappoint you. And this is Latafa Wazir. So there you have it, guys. If you've always been looking for boozy fragrances, I had a subscriber that asked me to recommend a fragrance that would remind them of shisha boozy fragrance that will uh, a boozy fragrance that will remind them of shisha and it gave me an idea and i thought okay let me just group the boozy fragrances 10 boozy fragrances for those who like liqueurs these fragrances are not going to be expensive if they are like i always say search a little harder because these fragrances are affordable i hope this video was helpful to you c chronicles is my name thank you so much guys for joining me today let me know in the comment section if there are some other boozy recommendations i know i've got a couple of other ones but i wanted to feature the middle eastern ones first before i bring you the other ones you know otherwise i do have a lot of other boozy fragrances turn on post notifications guys that way you get to be notified anytime i upload a video like and share this video and remember that smelling good is a form of good manners. Cheers!